One of the serious issues that we in the media have to deal with, and I want to start this conversation today because I'm still trying to figure out for the media outlet that I run exactly how we ought to cover issues like Anthony Bourdain's suicide. There is something called the Werther effect. Okay, the Werther effect is a very well-studied phenomenon. It's essentially copycat suicide. When a person who is very prominent commits suicide, there are a lot of people who begin thinking a lot more about suicide, fixating a lot more on suicide, thinking of it as a glorious out. I remember after Robin Williams' death, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences put out uh, a tweet of the genie, right, because Robin Williams played the genie, saying, you're free now, genie, okay? That sort of glorification of suicide is awful and actually promotes suicide, obviously. The Werther Effect is named after a book called The Sorrows of Young Werther by Goethe. Uh, that book, uh, supposedly, I mean, the, the studies are conflicting, caused suicides all over the continent. There were, there were young men who saw it as such a romantic ideal to commit suicide, they actually started walking around wearing the clothes that Werther is described as wearing in the book. But whether it was true of the Goethe book or not, it has been confirmed over and over and over. In the aftermath, for example, of Marilyn Monroe's suicide, in the months after her death, there were 303 excess suicides, meaning higher than average, in the United States. There have been multiple studies on this sort of stuff. After that, that show by Netflix, 13 Reasons Why, which essentially glorified suicide and said there were excuses for it, that a normal person who didn't suffer from depression or problems could be bullied into suicide. Once that show came out, Google queries about suicide, this is according to The Atlantic, rose by almost 20% in 19 days after the show came out, representing between 900,000 and 1.5 million more searches than usual regarding the subject. 17 out of the top 20 searches were significantly elevated. The biggest increases came with terms related to suicidal thoughts and ideation, like how to kill yourself. And many European countries actually have laws on the books that prevent the media from reporting about suicide specifically to avoid this. In Venice, they had a spate of people throwing themselves on the train tracks. And uh, I believe that they actually changed the law so that people could not report on that and the rates of suicide by throwing yourself on a train track went down. Now, I'm not calling for abridgment of the First Amendment or laws on this basis, but in the same way that I've suggested that my media outlet will no longer report the names or faces of mass shooters, I'm seriously considering changing the rules here at The Daily Wire when it comes to coverage of celebrity suicide or suicide in general. There is something that I want to talk about in just one second called the Papageno effect. Uh, this is the counter argument. The media should actually cover all of this stuff. So the Papageno effect basically suggests uh, that if the media covers this stuff in a, in a positive way, if the media covers suicide in, in an attempt to dissuade you from committing it, that this lowers the rate of suicide, that really only applies when you are telling a story about somebody who's considering suicide and then didn't do it. So if you're covering somebody's actual suicide, it's very difficult to avoid people having dark thoughts about doing the same thing. Uh, the Papageno effect is named after Mozart's magic flute character because Papageno is a character in the opera who's considering suicide, and then he's talked out of it by essentially three young boys who are, who are sprites or spirits. And that effect has not been all that well documented. It's a pretty recent study. I believe in Australia, they've done some studies on the Papageno effect. But the idea there is that the way to help make suicide less palatable to people is to show them stories of people who would have committed, committed suicide, but didn't do, then did not go ahead and actually do it.